In this video, we will introduce route mapping and crosshair planning. First, power on the remote controller and the drone. Tap operation mode switch in the upper left corner of the remote controller and select route mapping. Tap add and select crosshair on the task settings interface. If the field to be planned is open without obstacles, select boundary route. In this mode, the drone will quickly map a 20 meter wide corridor along the field's boundaries. If there are obstacles in the middle of the field, select area route. In this mode, the drone will perform mapping on the entire field. In this mode, more time is required but more information of the field can be obtained. During planning, you can select medium or high for resolution. If you select high, details of the mapping area can be presented in a clearer manner. If you select medium, you will obtain results with lower definition but in a shorter time. The operation procedures in area route and boundary route modes are similar. Here, we will introduce the operation procedure in area route mode as an example. Find the area on which you want to perform mapping in the satellite map, drag the satellite map and make the crosshair is above the turning point of the boundary, and tap add. Follow this step to add points along the boundary in sequence. When you add waypoints, the floating window on the right side will display the mapping area, estimated photo count, and estimated flight time. Take note of the following points when you add waypoints. 1. Waypoints must be added in order without crossing. Otherwise, the flight route cannot be generated. 2. To ensure complete coverage of the mapping area, the flight route will extend 20 meters beyond the field boundary. Please pay attention to flight safety. After confirming that the area is planned correctly, tap Save to save the mapping task. To improve the mapping efficiency, perform the mapping task by using a drone with the tank is empty. Check the status of the drone and the surroundings for takeoff according to the pre-flight check standards. Make sure RTK is connecting in mapping. When everything is ready, tap to start the task. Slide on the pop-up window of the remote controller. The aircraft will fly vertically to an altitude of 30 meters. Then, it will fly horizontally to the start point of the flight route and start the mapping task. During mapping, you can view the planned area, the estimated number of photos to be taken, and the number of photos already taken on the right side. You can switch between the FPV live view and the map view by tapping the view or pressing the FPV map switch button. When the mapping task is complete, control to fly the drone back to the takeoff and landing point. After the drone lands and completes reconstruction, tap route planning. Zoom in on the planned area on the remote controller to find the field to be planned. Add waypoints in sequence, and then save the planned task. On the interface that is displayed after reconstruction is complete, you can tap Identify Field. The system will automatically identify the fields and obstacles based on the farm boundary during mapping. You can fine-tune the boundary points of the identified fields and obstacles. During mapping, take note of the following points. 1. We recommend that you perform planning on regular fields and align the flight route with the longest side to improve the mapping efficiency. A single mapping task can cover a maximum area of 13 hectares. For larger areas, we recommend that you complete the mapping in multiple tasks. 2. The drone will fly at a height of 30 meters above the crops at a speed of 10 meters per second in farmland mapping, 6 meters per second in fruit tree mapping. Please ensure there are no obstacles of this height in the field. 3. The farmland must have a slope of less than 20 degrees and a clear ground texture. Mapping for large water surface may fail. 4. It is recommended to perform mapping tasks in clear weather for a higher mapping success rate. 5. If you set the overlay HD map to personal account map, the HD map generated upon mapping will be displayed on the screen for later use.